Definition, an algebraic variety is a fundamental concept in algebraic geometry. Classically, it is defined as the set of solutions to a system of polynomial equations over the real or complex numbers. In other words, it's the locus of points where certain polynomials simultaneously vanish. Affine varieties, these are the simplest type of algebraic varieties. An affine variety over an algebraically closed field, like the complex numbers, corresponds to the zero locus of a set of polynomials in affine space. For example, consider the set of solutions to the equations, f underscore 1, x underscore 1, backslash that's, x underscore n, equals 0, f underscore 2, x underscore 1, backslash that's, x underscore n, equals 0, backslash that's, f underscore k, x underscore 1, backslash that's, x underscore n, equals 0. Projective varieties, these are defined similarly but in projective space. Projective varieties capture the points satisfying homogeneous polynomial equations. Quasi-projective varieties, these are obtained by removing a hyperplane from a projective variety. General varieties, these are constructed by patching together smaller quasi-projective varieties. Negate's example shows that genuinely new varieties can arise this way. Dimension, algebraic varieties can be characterized by their dimension. For instance, dimension 1, algebraic curves. Dimension 2, algebraic surfaces. Connection to ring theory, Hilbert's Nullstellensatz establishes a deep link between ideals in polynomial rings and algebraic sets, bridging algebra and geometry. Varieties in universal algebra. In universal algebra, a variety refers to a class of algebras that is closed under homomorphisms, subalgebras, and direct products. Examples include the variety of groups, rings, and lattices. Note that the class of fields is not a variety because it is not closed under direct products 1. Remember, these concepts are rich and interconnected, and mathematicians continue to explore their properties and applications. Algebraic curves. A simple example is a straight line. The equation y equals 2x plus 1 describes a line with a slope of 2, intersecting the vertical axis at the point 0, 1. Ellipses, parabolas, and hyperbolas are also algebraic curves defined by polynomial equations. Algebraic surfaces. Quadric surfaces are fascinating examples. For instance, the sphere x caret 2 plus y caret 2 plus z caret 2 equals r caret 2. The ellipsoid backslash frac x2 a 2 plus backslash frac y2 b2 plus backslash frac z2 c2 equals 1. The hyperboloid of one sheet backslash frac x2 a 2 plus backslash frac y2 b2 backslash frac z2 c2 equals 1. Higher dimensional varieties. Algebraic varieties can exist in higher dimensions beyond curves and surfaces. These higher dimensional varieties can't always be visualized, but they play a crucial role in algebraic geometry. Let's explore the impact of singular points on the geometry of algebraic varieties. Definition of singular points. In algebraic geometry, a singular point of an algebraic variety, V, is a point, P, that is special, singular, in the geometric sense. At a singular point, the tangent space at the variety may not be regularly defined. If V is defined over the real numbers, this notion generalizes the concept of local non-flatness. Regular versus singular points. A point of an algebraic variety that is not singular is called regular. An algebraic variety with no singular points is termed non-singular or smooth. Example. Consider the plane algebraic curve given by the equation y caret 2, x caret 2, x plus 1, equals 0. The origin, 0, 0, is a double point of this curve. It is singular because a single tangent may not be correctly defined there. Mathematical characterization. A plane curve defined by an implicit equation, where, f, is a smooth function, is said to be singular at a point if the Taylor series of, f, has order at least 2 at that point. For a hypersurface, singular points occur where all the partial derivatives simultaneously vanish. The Jacobian matrix of the first-order partial derivatives of the defining polynomials determine singular points. General property. Almost all points on an algebraic variety are non-singular, forming an open and dense set in the variety. This holds true for both the Zariski topology and the usual topology, for varieties defined over the complex numbers. Remember, singular points provide intriguing insights into the local behavior of algebraic varieties. Intersection theory is a fascinating topic in algebraic geometry that studies how algebraic varieties intersect in higher dimensional spaces. Let's explore the key ideas, algebraic intersection number. Given two subvarieties, y and z in a smooth projective variety, x, with complementary dimensions, we define their algebraic intersection number, y backslash got z. 
This integer measures how many times the subvarieties intersect at a point, foundations and applications. Intersection theory has ancient origins, dating back to the solutions of polynomial equations. It plays a central role in algebraic geometry, connecting geometry and algebra. The theory has classical and modern applications, ranging from enumerative geometry to topological invariance. Recommended reading. A comprehensive treatise on intersection theory is William Fulton's book, which received the Steele Prize for Best Exposition 1. For a more accessible introduction, consider the book Intersection Theory in Algebraic Geometry by Eisenberg and Harris Intersection Theory and Bazout's Theorem are closely related concepts in algebraic geometry. Let's explore their connection, Bazout's Theorem. Bazout's theorem states that if we have two plane algebraic curves defined by equations f, x, y equals 0, and g, x, y equals 0, then the total number of intersection points, counted with multiplicities, is equal to the product of their degrees. Mathematically, if f and g are polynomials of degrees m and n, respectively, then the number of intersection points is mn. Intersection theory. Intersection theory generalizes Bazout's theorem to higher dimensional varieties. It studies the intersection behavior of algebraic subvarieties in projective spaces. Instead of just counting points, intersection theory assigns an intersection multiplicity to each intersection point. The intersection multiplicity captures how the subvarieties intersect at a given point. Key points. Bazout's theorem is a special case of intersection theory for plane curves. Intersection theory extends beyond curves to higher dimensional varieties, allowing us to analyze intersections in more complex settings. It plays a crucial role in enumerative geometry, topological invariance, and algebraic cycles. In summary, Bazout's theorem provides a foundational insight into intersections, while intersection theory broadens our understanding to handle more intricate geometric situations. Intersection homology is a fascinating topic that bridges algebraic geometry and topology. Let's explore its connection to cohomology, intersection homology. Intersection homology is a modification of the usual homology theory designed to retain desirable properties for singular varieties. It was introduced by Goreski and McPherson in the early 1980s. Unlike ordinary homology, intersection homology works well for singular spaces and has properties such as Poincare duality 1. Poincare duality. Poincare duality is a fundamental result in algebraic topology. It relates homology and cohomology groups for a compact, oriented manifold. For a compact-oriented, 2n, dimensional manifold, m, it states that the homology class represented by a cycle, a, intersects the cohomology class represented by a dual cycle, b, in finitely many points. Intersection cohomology. Intersection, co, homology extends intersection homology to the cohomology setting. It provides a theory of cohomology groups for singular spaces that satisfies Poincare duality. If the spaces are, possibly singular, projective algebraic varieties, intersection homology also satisfies the two Lefschetz theorems too. In summary, intersection homology and its cohomological counterpart offer powerful tools for understanding the geometry of singular varieties. The connection between intersection theory and the Riemann-Roch theorem, Riemann-Roch theorem, the Riemann-Roch theorem is a powerful result in complex analysis and algebraic geometry. It computes the dimension of the space of meromorphic functions with prescribed zeros and allowed poles on a connected compact Riemann surface. The theorem relates the surface's topological genus, denoted by G, to its complex analytic properties. Preliminary notions. A Riemann surface is a compact, locally homomorphic space to subsets of the complex plane. Its genus represents the number of handles, for example, the genus of a torus is 1. The genus encodes both topological and complex analytic information about the surface. Intersection theory and Riemann rock. Intersection theory studies how algebraic varieties intersect. The Riemann rock theorem connects intersection theory to the genus of Riemann surfaces. It allows us to compute the dimension of certain function spaces using topological and geometric data. In summary, the Riemann-Roch theorem beautifully bridges complex analysis, algebraic geometry, and intersection theory. Let's dive into the fascinating world of Calabi-Yau manifolds. These special mathematical spaces play a crucial role in both algebraic geometry and theoretical physics. Definition: A Calabi-Yau manifold, also known as a Calabi-Yau space, is a particular type of manifold with remarkable properties. These manifolds are complex and generalize the concept of K3 surfaces to any even number of real dimensions. Their name honors mathematicians Eugenio Calabi and Xiang Tungyao. Properties. 
Ricky flatness, Calabi Yao manifolds have a Ricky flat metric, meaning their curvature satisfies certain equations. Vanishing first Chern class, the first integral Chern class of these manifolds vanishes. Holonomy, the holonomy group of their tangent bundle is contained in the special unitary group, SU, N. Applications. String theory, in superstring theory, the extra dimensions of spacetime are sometimes conjectured to take the form of a six-dimensional Calabi Yao manifold. Mirror symmetry, the study of Calabi Yao manifolds led to the idea of mirror symmetry, a profound duality in string theory. Visualizing Calabi Yao manifolds. Imagine these manifolds as shapes that satisfy the requirement of space for the six unseen spatial dimensions of string theory. While we haven't directly detected these dimensions, Calabi Yao manifolds provide a mathematical framework for their existence. Remember, Calabi Yao manifolds blend geometry, topology, and physics, making them a captivating subject of study. Calabi Yao manifolds are fascinating mathematical spaces with remarkable properties. Let's explore how they are constructed, basic construction. Calabi Yao manifolds can be constructed using a basic method that involves cyclic coverings. Start with two irreducible complex algebraic manifolds, denoted as V underscore 1 and V underscore 2. Consider cyclic Galois covers of degree M over V underscore 1 and V underscore 2, denoted as backslash sigma and backslash pi, respectively. These covers have ramification divisors that intersect each fiber transversely. The construction involves comma coverings, which locally describe equations of the form y caret m equals f underscore i x underscore 1 backslash that's x underscore j over open affine sets. Galois transformations yield the desired Calabi Yao manifold. Complex multiplication. The resulting manifolds have complex multiplication due to their special geometric properties. Complex multiplication fibers are dense within the family of Calabi Yao manifolds. Applications. Calabi Yao manifolds play a crucial role in string theory and have applications in both mathematics and physics. Remember, these intricate spaces blend geometry, topology, and theoretical physics, making them a captivating subject of study. Calabi Yao manifolds play a crucial role in both string theory and mathematics. Let's explore their significance, string theory, and extra dimensions. String theory posits that our universe has more than the familiar three spatial dimensions. Calabi Yao manifolds provide a mathematical framework for these extra dimensions. Compactification. In string theory, the universe is modeled as a 10 dimensional space of the form M backslash times V. M represents a four dimensional manifold, our space time. V is a six dimensional compact Calabi Yao space. The extra dimensions are curled up or compactified on the Calabi Yao manifold. Properties of Calabi Yao manifolds. Ricky flatness, Calabi Yao manifolds have a special curvature property, Ricky flatness. Vanishing first Chern class, their first integral Chern class vanishes. These properties make them suitable for string theory. Applications. String compactification, Calabi Yao manifolds allow us to compactify the extra dimensions consistently. Mirror symmetry, the study of Calabi Yao manifolds led to the concept of mirror symmetry, a profound duality in string theory. In summary, Calabi Yao manifolds bridge geometry, topology, and theoretical physics, providing a rich landscape for exploring the fundamental nature of our universe. Certainly, mirror symmetry is a remarkable concept that connects two seemingly different mathematical worlds. Let's explore its significance, equal sign with power. Mirror symmetry exemplifies the power of the equal sign. It establishes an exact equivalence between two distinct physical systems. These systems reside in different realms, symplectic geometry, underlying mechanics, and algebraic geometry, complex numbers. Calabi Yao manifolds. Mirror symmetry relates the physics of string theory on two different Calabi Yao manifolds. If X and Y are Calabi Yao manifolds forming a mirror pair, their complexify, Kala structures and moduli spaces match. Hodge numbers of mirror pairs are related, h caret 1 1 x equals h caret n 1 1 y and vice versa. Deep implications. Mirror symmetry provides a powerful tool for understanding complex systems. It reveals unexpected connections, enriching both physics and mathematics. In summary, mirror symmetry bridges diverse fields, unlocking hidden secrets and revealing profound equivalences. That was all goodbye.